Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift, and I'm back just with a quick video just to show how much Cox would be pretty much ripping me off if I didn't pay for the $50 a month unlimited bandwidth plan with the, uh, what is it, Cox uh, Ultimate Package, which is, uh, what, three 300 meg, I think? Three, well, 300 Mbps. So they allot you every month one terabyte of bandwidth. And then after your one terabyte is up for the month, you know, which if, like, it's pretty much just me using my internet. So if you have a family, you know, you could quickly go over a terabyte between cell phones, iPads, you know, kids playing Fortnite. Xbox, PlayStation, you know, all this bullshit streaming Netflix. So if you go over your one terabyte allotment with Cox, they charge you $10 per 50 gigs. 10 bucks for 50 gigs. 50 gigs is really nothing. Yeah, but you know, it starts to add up when 10 bucks, 50, 10 bucks for 50, 10 bucks for 50. Or you can pay three, uh, 30 bucks extra for every 500 gigs which still sucks you might as well just pay twenty dollars more and get the uh, unlimited plan which is what I have where it's unlimited bandwidth as you can see right there unlimited data and um, so we're just gonna look at my my bandwidth so far for the the year well majority of the year of you know 2019 so far and then I'll let you know how much money they could have gouged me for had I not been smart enough to pay for the 50 gig uh, or I'm sorry $50 unlimited data plan so we're just gonna scroll through here now I use a lot of bandwidth uh, I download a lot of stuff off the internet I have a Plex server with uh, what's uh, 13 terabytes worth of hard disk space my main PC has 10 terabytes worth of hard disk space so I download a lot of stuff off of the internet I stream Netflix, Hulu, I play a lot of video games, uh, PC, Xbox, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. Uh, whenever I'm home, my uh, phone is connected to my Wi-Fi, which, you know, uses data. <clears throat> so we're just going to give you an idea. Now, these are, some of these numbers, like in a month, are higher numbers than I think I have ever used uh, with Cox. Okay, so we're just going to look at January 7th to the 19th to February 6th to the 19th. Now that's high. See, they show their little chart here from zero all the way up to 6,200 gigabytes, which is uh, 6.2 terabytes, if you didn't know that. So, just as an example, for the majority of January, I used 5.9 terabytes. So that's a lot of overage. You know, that's uh, 4.9 you know terabytes of overage so they would charge me nine hundred and eighty six dollars just right there and then February four point six terabytes knock out you know the thousand gigabytes one terabyte they allow you and you know that's uh, thirty six thirteen so three point six terabytes they would charge me seven hundred and twenty two dollars roughly and you know you know that's ten dollars per every fifty gigabytes I'm over my my bandwidth cap and this is the big month of the year so far as you can see this is March six gig six terabytes six thousand gigabytes and that's a lot of overage right there you know that's uh you know five terabytes just an overage so if I had to pay ten dollars per every fifty gigabytes, that's a thousand seventeen dollars. They'd be able to gouge me just for that one month of going that far over the cap. Which you know, the reason I made this video is to let you know that if you, you if you download a lot of stuff, stream a lot of stuff like I do, it's worth it to pay the extra fifty dollars a month if you can afford it, just to save yourself the overage. Because like I said, that one month right there is a thousand thousand seventeen dollars in overage. And then here we are in April, which the month is, you know, maybe, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it started on 4-7, so 
you know, we got what? Well over 10 days left. Well, yeah, depending on when I record this. And right there, I already have uh, 684 gigabytes in overage. Less than a terabyte. But they would still charge me $136.80. So, like I said, so far just an overage, $986, $722, $1,017, and $136. Just for, you know, not even a full four months into the year. So Cox would be able to gouge me $2,862.60 in overage. But luckily, I pay $50 extra, so... I only had to pay 200 for you know so far for the year to get the unlimited data. So I highly recommend that because $2,862. That's a lot of money just for using the fucking internet, just for streaming, shit, just for playing video games. I mean, look at my daily numbers here. 89 gigs on the 7th, 55 gigs, 233, 86, 402 gigs, 39 gig, 39, 45, 44. 371, 123, 82, and just yesterday, 77 gigs. So, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Almost 680 gigabytes on uh, March 28th. That's pretty good. That's a lot of stuff downloaded. But, yeah, so, like I said, I just wanted to... You know, just make an informational video, you know, just how much Cox can charge you. If you go over your bandwidth cap of one terabyte, which is ridiculous, one terabyte is nothing. This is just me personally by myself, pretty much. There's a few people, you know, that use my Plex server, but, you know, they're not pulling a terabyte off of my server watching watching TV shows or movies or whatever. So this is mainly just me now. If you had a whole family with, like, three, four kids, that they'd use a lot more bandwidth, I would think, unless you're heavily monitoring what they're doing. But anyway... Just wanted to make this video because I mean that number is ridiculous. Almost three grand in overage uh, I would be charged if I didn't have the unlimited data. So definitely get the unlimited data with Cox. It's an extra fifty bucks a month. So my bill I think is uh, I want to say one one fifty eight or something like that. Uh, one fifty eight, one fifty nine, something like that. But anyway, uh, that's my video. This has been Atomic Swift. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for all likes, comments. Uh, suggestions, everything is appreciated. Almost at a hundred thousand views. Thank you very much. As always, bye for now.